This is the easiest Enderman farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.19. In order to build this farm, you're going to need to kill the Ender Dragon, so good luck with that. After casually beating the game, we're going to go to the End Island, and we're going to build 150 blocks out into the void using leaves. After building out by 150 blocks into the void, we're going to grab our chest and place down a double chest at the end of your bridge. We're then going to place down two leaves on both sides of the chest, grab our hoppers now, and run six hoppers into that chest, creating a 3x2 square, just like that. We're gonna grab some slabs now, and place down six slabs over top of your hoppers, and then grab some normal blocks, and place down four blocks on this side of the farm, and four blocks on this side of the farm. These blocks are going to make the building process a whole lot easier. We're then going to place down two blocks on every single one of our building blocks, on both sides of the farm, and then on top of these blocks, we're gonna grab some leaves and place down leaves on top of those blocks like this. Create a three by two of leaves over top of the chest area, and this is actually going to be where you stand while you use the farm. On the back side of the farm, grab your leaves, and we're gonna place down two leaves here, 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 and here, in this pattern like so. We're then gonna grab one more leaf and place it on this hopper just like that, so that it is in between these two sets of leaves. What this is going to do is it's gonna keep your Enderman inside of the chamber, and it's also going to make it so that you don't lose the Ender Pearls. Building off of this leaf here, we're gonna place down 21 more leaf blocks so that we can build our spawn platform. So one, two, three, four, five. On your 21st leaf block, we're gonna place down a building block right here, and then we're gonna build out by seven in both directions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then the same thing on this side one two three four five six and seven we're then going to build out by 15 in this direction so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen blocks we're then going to connect all of this up to create a giant square and this is going to be where all of the endermen spawn so make sure to fill this in with normal blocks and for those of you keeping track, this is a 15 by 15 spawn platform. All right, I went into survival mode to show you how to use the farm. What you're going to do is stand on the back side of the chest, and then all you're going to do is make eye contact with the Enderman. They're going to start running over here and funnel into the chamber, where you can then go ahead and kill them with your looting three sword for the maximum number of drops. Now, unfortunately, because we aren't dropping any of the Endermen, they aren't going to have any damage taken to them, so you will have to hit them about three times. Because this farm relies only on on the eye contact and not using an endermite that means that your endermite can't die and the enderman will always get mad at you while you are looking at them so as you can see this farm works incredibly efficiently we're getting tons of xp and tons of pearls occasionally the farm will run out like you see here however if we wait long enough we will have some enderman come back but just by doing one little round here we got two and a half stacks of ender pearls and we already have some enderman here who we can then go ahead and make eye contact with this is probably my favorite enderman farm i've ever made solely because because it is so easy to build and the rates are absolutely incredible. I'm already on level 11 and I've literally been using this thing for what? maybe tops a minute and a half but that is going to do it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy this one if you did then be sure to subscribe and leave a like my name is one of mc and i will catch you guys in the next one